Hello everyone, I'm Emma and welcome to this coffee break yoga flow. So go ahead and grab your beverage of choice if you like, your yoga mat and whatever else you might need and we'll begin shortly. So go ahead and take a seat kneeling on the mat and we're going to begin with a dynamic shoulder stretch. So inhale to reach the arms up and bring them into a cactus shape. Exhale to connect both forearms, inhale to open again. Alternate between these two positions, counteracting the sitting posture we often hold and beginning to link the breath. Good, now hold those arms open into cactus and bring the hands behind you, either hooking the thumbs or interlacing the fingers, pressing the fists down for a chest and shoulder opener. Good, on the next exhale, come forward, round through the back, straight into cat pose. Inhale to lift the chest, lift the tailbone, and exhale, alternate the two. Now focusing on the shoulder blades and the spine. Good, last one. Then walk the hands slightly forward. On the next inhale, lift the hips up just into your plank. On the exhale, knees come down, lower all the way to the mat. Inhale, lift with just the back muscles into a baby cobra. Exhale, lower. And only if you feel ready, lift a little higher into your full cobra. Lower back down. And inhale, lift again. Exhale, lower, and this time inhale, lift and look over the left shoulder. Exhale, lower again. Inhale, this time the right shoulder. Exhale, lower, one last cobra through the middle. Inhale, and on the exhale, head up to your downward dog. From here again, we're going to be linking the breath, but just with a bit of a pedal here. So inhale, bend one knee, exhale, sink the heel further down. Inhale to swap for the full duration of the exhale, sink the heel. Again, keep alternating. Dynamic stretches today. Good, come back to neutral after one last repetition. Take a vinyasa flow, rolling forward to plank, heading down to the mat, inhaling to cobra, and exhaling downward dog. Next inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale to step the foot forward and bring the left knee to the mat. Low lunge. Take a breath here, sink into the hips, find your hip flexor stretch. Maybe close the eyes for a brief moment. On the next exhale, extend the right leg, finding a hamstring stretch. Inhale, come forwards. Exhale, extend again. Inhale, forwards. Exhale, one last half split. Inhale it forwards, lift the right leg up, and then place the right knee right next to the right thumb. Right foot can stay near the hip. Come down into your pigeon pose, getting deep into the glutes, everything that might be tight when we're sitting for too long. If this pose is still a little tricky for you, you can bring the left knee closer to your body and bend it. Just enjoy a couple deeper breaths. Walk the hands back in, tuck the toes under, inhale to lift the right leg up and lower it down. From here, roll it forwards to Chaturanga, knees down, chest down, inhale to lift to Cobra and exhale downward dog. Immediately next inhale, left leg up, step it forwards, right knee down. Find your low lunge again, find your hip flexor stretch. On the exhale, extend the left leg. Inhale, back forwards. Exhale again, extend the left leg. 
Inhale, come back to low lunge. We'll do two more here. Exhale back, really focus on finding the stretch. Inhale forwards, find the hip flexor stretch. Exhale, last time for the hamstrings and the calves. And inhale, lift that left knee up, place the left knee next to the left thumb, and the left foot crosses over near the right hip. Exhale, if possible, relax down over on top of the arms. If this isn't possible, you can stay elevated or bring that right knee to the right side of the body, giving your hips a bit more space. Enjoy a moment without any distractions, just listening to your body, to your breath. the hands back in deep breath in tuck the toes under exhale to lift the leg all the way up to three-legged dog lower the foot down inhale forwards exhale chaturanga knees down inhale to cobra and finally returning where we started interlacing the fingers or hooking the thumbs lift the chest and we'll finish there. So thank you so much for joining me. By now, your tea or coffee should be that perfect drinking temperature. Hopefully your body is feeling much more free and airy. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button or maybe even the subscribe and I will see you next time. Thanks again for watching.